Hi, hello and welcome back. If you are new to this channel, let me give a small intro of my channel. I am Surya. I post videos related to placements like aptitude programming and company specific placement videos. So if you are interested in these topics and want to know more about these topics, please do subscribe my channel if you have not done it yet. Coming back to today's topic, we will discuss about some of the placement questions of cognizance which were asked in STA placement test. We will see some of the solutions of Quant's topic and also the solutions of Automata Fix. Now let's get into today's topic. So the first question what they asked was, there are five types of toys with two toys of each type. In how many ways can a shopkeeper arrange them on a shelf? This was the question asked. So five types of toys, two toys of each type they have given. So how we will find the total number of toys? So total number of toys is equal to five toys of each type and each type there are two toys. Okay, So five into two which is equal to ten toys. So the total number of toys is equal to 10 toys. We know the formula. Number of ways of arranging n items is equal to n factorial. So the number of ways of arranging 10 toys is 10 factorial. Since each type of toy is repeated twice, we are going to divide by 2 factorial. Each toy is repeated twice. So 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So 5 times we are going to do that. So if the final answer what we will get is 10 factorial divided by if you multiply all these 2 factorial you will get 32. So this is the answer. So the next question what they asked was if log x is equal to log 3 plus 2 log 2 minus 3 by 4 log 16 the value of x is. They have given the logarithmic equation and they have asked to find out the value of x. So how we are going to solve is uh, you keep log 3 plus 2 log 2 as it is. So we can solve this last part. So 3 by 4 log, log 16 can be written, 16 can be written as 2 power 4. Why we are writing 2 power 4 is that we are having log 2 so that we can subtract these both values. Uh, so instead of 4 square we are going to write 2 power 4 and by power rule we can bring the 4 uh, to the front of the log. So we are bringing that 4 here and 4 and 4 will get cancelled so you will get the equation as log 3 plus 2 log 2 minus 3 log 2. Since log 2 are of same Type, we are going to cancel that so log 3 minus log 2 you will get and by division rule we can write as uh, log x is equal to log 3 by 2 because uh, you are having a formula like log a minus log b is equal to log a by b so this is the formula what we are going to use so log x is equal to log 3 by 2 log and log will get cancelled so x value what we will get is 3 by 2 so the next question is, find the ratio of distance covered by a car and a cyclist when it is given that the car moves for 1.5 hours at 30 km per hour and the cyclist moves for 1 hour at 25 km per hour. So they are asking the ratio of distance. The first thing you should uh, strike into your mind is that distance formula. Distance is equal to speed into time. So they have given the car time and speed and cyclist time and speed. So they are asking the distance between these. To. So the ratio between car and cyclist they are asking. So we know that a formula distance is equal to speed into time. So 1.5 into 30. This one 1 into 25. If you are multiplying 45 is to 25. We can cancel this in 5 table. So 9 is to 5. So this is the ratio between the car and the cyclist. So the next question what they asked was. In how many ways can you arrange the dining table with 3 sweets and 4 fruit balls in a line. If all the sweets should be placed at even places they have given. So three sweets and four fruit bowls are there. They have given the condition that three sweet bowls should be placed only in the even position. So there are seven bowls. So we can number this as one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And these three sweets should be placed only in the even position. And count how many even positions are there. One, two, three. So three even position you have to place three sweet bowls. So in how many ways you can place that? So three factorial ways. We have already seen that formula as n factorial, so 3 factorial into and remaining how many places are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So in remaining 4 places we are going to place 4 fruit balls. So how many ways you can place? So 4 factorial. So directly they have given the uh, options as 3 factorial into 4 factorial. So this is the answer. Uh, they can also give as solved answer of this. So if you solve this answer means you will get as uh, 6 into uh, 24. So you will get as 6 4 so 24 4 balance 2 so 144 so 144 is your answer. So the next question what they asked was in a miniature wonderland three countries Austria, America and Germany are on a display. If Austria and America occupy 3 by 7 and 4 by 9 on of the display area respectively 
what is the display area occupied by germany so this was the question so i have represented is as a diagrammatic representation so consider this as the vanilla where they are displaying their projects so austria occupied 3 by 7 of the part and america occupied 4 by 9 of the part so germany's part how the, uh, how much they are asking so how we can find this the total area we will consider as 1 so 1 minus addition of these two will give the uh, Germany portion so 1 minus 3 by 7 plus 4 by 9 so uh, we will cross multiply this you will get uh, 155 divided by 63 and uh, 63 minus 53 divided by 63 you will get 8 by 63 so 8 by 63 part is occupied by the Germany next question is a system can be filled by two pipes A and B in 10 hours and 15 hours respectively and is then emptied by a tap in 8 hours if all the taps are open, the system will be filled in they are asking. So they have given that pipe A and pipe B fill a tank in 10 hours and 15 hours. And another pipe C, uh, it empties the tank in 8 hours. So if all the taps are open, we are going to find how many, you know, how many hours the tank will be filled. So since it is pipe A and B are filling the tank, we are uh, using addition symbol. So 1 plus 10 plus 1 by 15. So pipe C is emptying the tank, so minus 1 by 8. So if you are going to take LCM of these two, you will get 30. So 3 plus 2 divided by 30, you will get uh, 5 by 30. If you cancel 1 by 6, you will get. So 1 by 6 minus 1 by 8. If you cross multiply this, so 8 minus 6, you will get as 2. 8, 6 are 48, you will get. Cancel this 1 by 24. And finally, you have to invert the answer. So you will get as 24 hours. So it takes 24 hours to fill the system when all the pipes are open. So the next question is, a train traveling at 250 km per hour overtakes a cyclist who is traveling at 10 km per hour in 45 seconds. What is the length of the train in meters they are asking? So they have given the train speed as 20, 250 km per hour and cyclist speed as 10 km per hour. So the train overtakes the cyclist in 45 seconds they have given. So they are asking the distance of the train. So this comes under the relative speed concept. So distance is equal to speed into time. So speed how we will consider is they are traveling in the same direction. So relative speed is equal to difference between the time, difference between the speeds. So 250 km per hour minus 10 km per hour you will get 240 km per hour. We are converting that to uh, 240 km per hour into meter per second since they have given the time in seconds we are going to convert the kilometer per hour into meter per second so we are multiplying by 5 by 18 and time what they have given 45 seconds so into 45 so if you cancel this uh, the answer what you get is 3000 so the distance of the uh, the length of the train is 3000 meters so the next question is what is the value of x in the given expression log base 10 20 into x is equal to 3 so this was the expression they have given so we have already discussed about these log formulas in my previous video so if you have not checked it yet so please go and check the logarithmic formulas i have given the link in the description so log base a x is equal to m this is the formula so we can write this formula as a power m is equal to x so here a value is base value that is 10. So 10 power 3 is equal to 20 into x. So keep x as in one side and bring the 20 in another side. So 10 cube can be written as 10 into 10 into 10 divided by 20. So if you cancel this, the answer what you will get is x is equal to 50. So this is the answer. Question is if Ruparno is expected to spend rupees 2300 on electricity bill in the first three months of the year, what amount can he be expected to spend on electricity bill for the rest of the year? So this was the question they asked. So saying that for three months the electricity bill was rupees 2300. So for the upcoming months how much uh, he wants to pay? So remaining months uh, in a year how you will calculate? So already three months is over. So remaining months will be nine months. So in nine months how many three months are there? How you will find? So nine by three. So totally there are three more uh, three months there so for three months the value is 2300 so for three months how we will find 2300 into three so which is equal to 6900 so 6900 is the answer next question is an employee has to attain 70 percentage marks during appraisals to get a promotion he gets 75 marks and does not qualify for a promotion since he falls short of 30 marks in the rating what is the maximum score that an employee can attain in the appraisal ratings? So given that uh, you need 70 percentage to get the pass, but the person got 75 marks only. So he's uh, a shortage of marks by 30 marks. 
So if you add these both, so 75 marks plus 30 marks is the pass percentage you will get. Uh, so 75 plus 30 is equal to 105. So this 105 is equal to 70 percentage they have given because uh, he is getting 75 marks. Uh, but he is not getting selected because he is falling short of 30 marks. Uh, so the total percentage to get passes is 70 percentage. So if you add these both, you will get 70 percent. So what they are asking, the total marks they are asking. So the total marks you don't know. So X is equal to 100 percentage. So if you cross multiply this, what you will get is 100 is e X is equal to 105 into 100 divided by 70. So you will get the answer as 150. So 150 is the total marks. This question is if LCM of two prime numbers u and v, v is greater than u is 143, then the value of 3u plus v is, uh, that is the question they are asking. So LCM of co prime is given as 143. They have also given the condition as v is greater than u. They are asking the value for 3u plus v. So since uh, they are given as co prime, so the multiples of co prime will give the LCM value. So the two numbers are 11 and 13. So if you multiply 11 and 13, the LCM will be 143. So 11 and 13 is the two numbers they have given. They have also set the condition as V is greater than U. So the, the greater number is the V value and the smaller number is the U value. Substitute in this equation. So you will get as 3 into 11 plus 13. So 33 plus 13, you will get as 46. So 46 is the answer. So next question is 215 is to 474. So 537 is to question mark they have given. So this is a logical reasoning question. So this was a very strange question. So I picked up uh, this question to answer. So they have given that uh, 215, 474, 537 is to question mark they have given and gave, given the options like 22, 24, 26 and 28. So the logic behind this question is add the sum of digits in that. So 5 plus uh, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 2, 8. So 8 is to uh, add this 4 plus 7 plus 4, you will get 15. And and if you add this 5 plus 3 plus 7, you will get as 15. So what number if you add from the given options, you will get 8, you have to see. So what option you will get is 26 because 2 plus 6, you will get 8. So that is the answer. So next we will get into automata fix questions. So, so first question what they asked was, print character pattern so the program is displayed here so in this they have given the print character pattern so you have to print the pattern like this but when you run the program you will get the pattern like a b c d e f g h i j but you have to uh, print the pattern as uh, it always starts from a so what are the changes you have to make is that in line number five you have to put character print is equal to ch you have to assign the value of ch to print so that it prints the value of a in the upcoming lines and also in the eighth line you have to put ch is equal to print because uh, initially what they have given is that the ch value they are always incrementing so ch value what they have given is a so a is always incrementing so that only a is next b c d e f g h i j so instead of that incrementation you are assigning that value to a again so that it prints from a b a b c a b c d so like that you have to given so when you make these two changes the program will run automatically the next program is find maximum element you have to write the code for this program uh, assume that the array 1 consists of 4 5 3 and 7 and array 2 consists of 6 7 9 and 2 so you have to find the maximum of array 1 and maximum of array 2 then you have to compare that both the numbers and in that maximum you have to return the output for example the first array maximum value is 7 the second array maximum value is 9 so you have to compare 7 and 9 which is greater 9 is greater so your output should be 9 so they have included an another function called sort array if you pass this to sort array the array will be sorted in uh, ascending order so what they have given is uh, what you have to write is sort array you are passing that len1 comma uh, array1 so they have given the arguments like this so len1 comma array1 and again sort uh, for array2 you are writing sort array len2 comma array2 so it will have uh, it will come like this if you have an array like 4 5 3 and 7 when you give sort array it will come like this 3 4 5 and 7 and for second array you will get 2 6 7 and 9 next you are comparing both the values which are at the 
last because that is the largest value so what you are going to write is if array one of len one minus one so len value is four they have given so last value will be three because n minus one it always starts from zero so if array one of len one minus one is greater than array two of len one minus two so compare seven is greater than nine no it is not coming so next nine should be printed so return array two of len two minus one array two of len two minus one is nine so nine is printed as the output so the next two programs what they asked was count digits and occurrence. So these two programs were asked in count digits means if they have given the input as 150, the output what you have to return is 150 mod 3. This 3 is the count of the digits and 150 is the same number what we have passed. So they have given the code like this. So what error is there we have to find out. So int num they have given count is equal to so while num is not equal to 0 num is equal to num slash 10 count plus plus. So count value is perfectly you are getting but return value what you are giving is num mod count you are giving. So num value you are also using here. So when you divide by 10 and 10 continuously you are doing the num value will become 0. So the output also will become 0. So you have to uh, store that num variable in a temporary variable. So what you are going to do is declare another temporary variable and store num in that perform operations with num and at last return the value of temp mod count so if you uh, do these two changes means your code will get passed and next one is the occurrence so they have given an array and also a length and they have given a value so this value is how many times are there in that array we have to find out so what they have given is int i is equal to 0, count is equal to 0, while i is less than n. If array of i equal to equal to value means count plus plus, they have written the count. But what they have missed is that uh, i value have to be incremented after every loop. No. So i plus plus is missing. So i plus plus you add. And if you add and pass the program means it will get passed. So that's the video i have already solved some of the automated fix questions which was asked on 16 october so i have added that video link in my description so please do visit and check it so i will solve the remaining programs in my upcoming videos to watch those programs please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video also please share with your friends and see you soon in the next video so until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care